as we oh, welcome in. No, no, you're the you're biggest right, in, right big on man. cue. Yeah. Right on cue, dude. I had a big sponsor if Alvin came up, you know, afterwards I had to go to commercial to capitalize on that, you know, capitalize on that guy. Stevie, how are you? You uh, had an eventful off season, an eventful summer. Uh, the first thing I saw, I think, was the uh, the video that you and Baron Davis put together, which was uh, quite entertaining. Good. Yeah, that's, I enjoyed what, it. that's what it was meant to be, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, what did you do in terms of basketball staying in shape? I know you try to get away from the game uh, as much as possible. I saw you had the charity soccer game, but you stay so fit. Yeah, I do. I stay in great shape. I feel great. Um, I play soccer two or three times a week. I have a trainer I work out with three times a week. I train on my own a bit, and I shoot you know, two or three or four times a week throughout the summer and then come back here in September and start playing a little bit. So you know, I probably played two or three times a week in September. And I just stayed in great shape and took, like, basically the last week off. Just, uh, you know, I want to try to be as uh, youthful and uh, rejuvenated as possible come springtime. Well, Steve, new coaching staff, a lot of people, you know, what, what's the identity going to be of this team? You know, we go from just flat out up and down the floor to obviously a little bit more emphasis on, on defense. Your thoughts going into training camp? Well, I'm excited. I think uh, it'll be fun for us and exciting for us to have a new focus, uh, new energy, new players, new coaches. So I think all of us are excited to try to build a really great team here, have a great spirit and energy about us. And, you know, with Terry, you know, we're all looking forward to him putting his imprint on the team. And we all think that defense is very important. It should be our primary focus and his primary focus of what he can do to change our team. But, uh, you know, he may want to change things offensively, too. But I think we all are just excited that we've got, uh, you know, a guy that was a great player, a guy that loves what he's doing, and was a great teammate. So we feel like we've got a guy with all the characteristics to be a great coach. What can you tell us about the conversations that you have had with Terry in terms of the offense? And obviously you've had the keys to the Ferrari in the last few years <laughs> of running up and down the court. But he mentioned to us that maybe we'll see you more off the ball, coming off screens, utilizing more of your shooting skills as well as the playmaking. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm all ears. Whatever he wants me to do, I'm happy to do. He, he, he said, you know, offensively, you know, it's not a lot to improve on. We have a good offensive team. Of course, he wants to tweak it and put emphasis in different areas. And I think that stuff kind of plays itself out as the season goes on. So, he's, you know, being a great offensive player that he was, he's going to have some ideas and some, you know, differences, which I think we'll all be ready for. Uh, but, you know, he's really going to be focusing on defense. I think we're, you know, a group of guys that, you know, really want to be better defensively, and we realize that to take the next step, which we all desperately want to do, we need to be better defensively. So I think that that focus and a lot of our energy going in that direction will help us. Steve, the young players coming over, obviously Matt Barnes coming as a free agent. you got the big kid, uh, Robin Lopez from Stanford. The, the addition of those guys, uh, you know, Tom and I have talked about, you know, when, when you have guys like that, you can incorporate them, and you don't have to expect them to change you know, 100%. There are, there are little pieces to the puzzle that make everybody better. Your thoughts on those guys coming in? Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind when I think of all the new guys is that they have a great attitude. They're great teammates, you know, guys that are happy to be here. Uh, so that's really important because I think the teams that win it all are teams with great spirit, great chemistry, togetherness, whatever you want to say. Uh, so I'm excited about that facet of the new guys. And then if you look at it, they really add depth to us in a lot of different ways. You know, Matt, and Grant make us really strong at the three. Uh, you know, I think Robin and Shaq make us really strong at the center position. You even look at some of the young guys. Gorn hopefully is going to be a terrific point guard in this league, but Sean also can play point at this level. So you, know, you start to look at the depth we have at different positions, and you realize that they're all, not only that, but they're great people who are going to bring energy every day. You know, I really like what we've made, uh, what changes we've made in the off season. You can still see it in your eyes. I mean, the youth and exuberance. This is still a fun game for you. You still look forward to training camp the season ahead. What about the talk during the off season that the Suns want to limit the amount of minutes that you play? Maybe limit even the games that you play during the regular season to have you fresh for the playoffs? Well, it's a great idea, but it, you know that might be all. It is. I mean, it's hard. I mean, we, it's been a great idea the last three yeah, or four years you know, too. We haven't seen it. Yeah. Um, so you know, hopefully. Uh, you know, the young guys and the team in general will be able to handle itself, whether I go down or someone else goes down or we hold someone out or we lo drop someone's minutes. But, you know, it's, it's easier said than done, no matter who that is. And so that would be great in the outset to have that goal in mind. But at the same time, there's 10, 12 teams in the West that, yeah, you know, will drop you off the playoff yeah. radar in a heartbeat. So it's, uh, you know, number one goal is for us to stay healthy and make the playoffs. And number two would be to, you know, to be in the first place mm -hmm. going in the playoffs. But... Uh, after that, you know, 
it's it's really just about us getting there and seeing what we can do once we get there. Steve, a unique project uh, that, that has uh, definitely your fingerprints on it with APS. Uh, the, the arena here going green with some solar panels. Talk a little bit about that for our listeners. Yeah, it's something we've been working on for a few years now. Um, and it is the Valley of the Sun. Uh, we are the suns. So uh, I thought it was a great fit to bring together some people that could um, really make an impact on the community. I think that obviously global warming and preserving our natural resources and, and using the sun that we have in the valley as a natural resource is something that's really important to our future, our kids. Uh, and if the Phoenix Suns can do it, I think it sets a precedence for individuals, companies, and teams around the country to look into doing it as well. So you know, I was really excited. I'm really proud of, to be a part of this organization that they would do that. The city of Phoenix, APS, it's pretty cool that we got a group of people in power that are able to, to get things done like that. It really is a terrific project. we got to let you go. Get down I thought to Timmy Kempton with the top button done up. You know, yeah, wow. Hey, that is totally old school. I know. Yeah, hey, it's so about, old, it's hey, new. Another hairdo. <laughs> with another hairdo. Yeah, you know, is this well, a summer we hairdo? Go or, that. Is this we a got a lot hairdo. of different looks here. Boris, Alvin Gentry. Uh, Does Amari still have that frohawk thing going? It's, I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>